They travel over on the inside. It's conceded, held together. Leads the way for Allen coming up to the corner. The stablemate Nardini is running second, and then came Castle Retreat, just starting to push up underneath her. They're followed deeper out on the track by four. Seen in the middle is Fiddler's Elbow, Lord Baldazar. At the head of the others, Bollywood Blitz and Star Glitter into the home straight. Allen's gone out to the middle of the track with conceded. He led the way two lengths. Nardini's a shot duck behind them, battling Castle Retreat, Lord Baldazar. Over on the outside, conceded. Castle Retreat, now Star Glitter. Star Glitter closing, conceded. Castle Retreat and Star Glitter went to the line in a bobbing finish. On the a inside. very happy bunch of owners down here as well. Paul, this is a horse that's deserved that win for a while now. Yeah, no, he's gone over 12 months without winning a race and uh, he's been close a couple of times and uh, no good stuff. The recent four months have been really good, haven't they? Only been one and a half by Travelin, uh, two lengths by Dendy as well. So as we said, has been consistent, doing the right thing, just hasn't found that winning race. Yeah, that's for sure, you know, and that's what happens sometimes. He's most probably not the same horse he was as a young horse because he was quite, well, as a three-year-old, he was a pretty handy horse. He won maybe 300,000 at that time. But he's still a competitive horse. He's a sand horse, but most probably not as good as he used to be, like a lot of us. <laughs> I was really impressed with the way, the, the speed they showed earlier was chewing the steel around the bend and probably lucky in the, in the end the cutaway was there because, as I said, had plenty of horse uh, underneath him, did Ryan? Yeah, it, it, it is that way. But, you know, it must be a bit off on the inside too. So you didn't know if you, if you were going to get a bit of luck with the, with the cutaway or it was going to be uh, a bit more of a problematic for better being there, you know. So. Do you just keep saying around the 1,200 metres with him? Well, I think he's better at 11, but uh, like, uh, all you can do is put them in races, hope that they're competitive, and especially at this stage of their career. Let's hope there's another one in the calendar for you soon. Congratulations. Yeah, good stuff. Thank you. Kelly, what were you thinking uh, around the bend? Because it looked as though you had plenty of horse underneath you. You just needed a way out. Yeah, no, that's it. Um, I was pretty happy when Simon's horse rolled off the fence. Obviously, that's the best part of the track to be in anyway. Um, but as soon as he headed out there, managed to follow him out and get over the top of him late. You would have done a bit of work on this guy as well. Were you confident that he was still going to be able to go past him and win this race? Yeah, look, he's probably done in the world a good for a bit of confidence, but his head in front. Um, obviously, he's normally Craig's ride, but you know, he's out at the moment. So um, look, I do a fair bit of work on these horses, and I know him pretty well. So when I... When he, I wanted him to stick his neck out and he did for us, so it's really good. You seem to be able to get him to settle really well early as well, although chewing the steel, as I said, around the bend, it was a lot more relaxed than we've seen in recent times. Yeah, he flew the barriers. Um, I was really, I was just waiting for Simon's one to come across and you know you're always going to get a drag into the race off Simon's horses, so it worked out perfect. Brilliant ride, mate. Well done. Thanks, guys.